claiming there is two-tier policing, some critics of the police have compared the recent riots with the anti-Israel marches in London, or the direct action by Just Stop Oil. But that's not quite right. There is a difference between public protests in which a minority turn violent and disorder started deliberately by those intent on violence. There is a difference between blocking a road, even if that's a dangerous and selfish criminal act, and plotting to burn down shops, mosques, and hotels, or carrying weapons on the streets. The right comparison for these riots is with 2011. Then, the police were robust, and the judges, quite rightly, very tough. And yet, there is something to criticize. The approach to public order, order policing has been inconsistent, and too often, too weak. There was inaction in the face of blatant criminality during the anti-Israel protests. And the justification for not wanting to ban these marches was that the threshold in the Public Order Act 1986 was not reached. But if the Chief Constable did not believe banning the, matches, the marches would prevent serious public disorder, how could they later claim that addressing, arresting lawmakers, forgive me, how could they later claim that arresting lawbreakers at the time would lead to wider disorder. This is quite obviously a contradiction. Last week, we saw a senior officer from West Midlands Police explain that officers had been absent during violence by young Muslim men because they had discussed their plans with, and I quote, community leaders to understand the style of policing we needed to deliver. Now, criminal acts committed during protests whether by Extinction Rebellion, Just Stop Oil, or the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, were not stopped with police seeming to stand side by the wayside. And in Birmingham, police deter deferred to so-called community leaders while pubs and cars were attacked, windows broken, and citizens intimidated. This is not, as the police oath requires, policing without fear or favor. No police officer should ever tolerate the presence of a militia, no matter what the provocation or the cause they claim. The intrusion of politics, the politics of protest, or the politics of the self-appointed community leaders into policing must simply end. <laughs>